Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What if I guess today are some exciting Dead Division 2 news. If you guys didn't know, there is a link going on right now of a Microsoft Australian website, and it's pretty much showing Dead Division 2 uh, kind of rewards you get for pre-ordering the game and also buying a different bundle. So for example, you can have the Standard Edition, the Gold Edition, and also the, the Ultimate Edition. There is some uh, description on it and pretty much telling you guys what you can get, like weapons and, you know, outfits and stuff like that. So I decided to make a video on this, kind of go over it with you guys and show you guys. And also, I will have a uh, link to the website in the description below you guys can check out. If you think it's not legit or anything like that, um, you guys can check it out. Also, I do think this was posted by mistake. I'm not really sure if we're supposed to get this information right now. Um, so maybe this was posted by mistake, maybe it wasn't. I'm not really sure. But once again, I do want to show you guys this and kind of talk about it and what I think. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. Starting off first, we have Dead Division 2 Standard Edition, and this is about 100 Australian dollars. I'm pretty sure it's like 66 US dollars or 67, something like that. And also, I'm not really sure how much pounds this is if you are from the UK. But pretty much, if you pre-order this version right now, what you're going to be getting is a private beta access and also the Capital Defender pack, which comes with a Exotics Pass 12 shotgun and also the Hazmat 2.0 outfit. Now first of all, I do want to say this is huge because the private beta for this game is not something that's guaranteed. Yes, you can sign up for it on the website, but it's not a 100% chance that you're going to get into it and actually get to play the beta, so this is really cool. Um, once again, you have to pre-order it, which kind of sucks, but... If you want to play the beta, if you want to have, you know, 100% access to it, which is a pretty smart thing to do. The final thing we have is the Capital Defender Pack, and this comes with Exotic's Pass 12 Shotgun, and also the Hazmat 2.0 outfit. Honestly, I don't really care about the outfit too much. Yes, it's pretty cool, and it is a Hazmat 2.0 outfit, but I'm more interested about the Exotic's Pass 12. Um, first of all, this is like the first news and the first confirmation that there's going to be exotic weapons in the game. And also this past 12 is pretty, you know, pretty cool in general, so I'm kind of excited to get to see how this is and if it's actually going to be a good weapon in the Division 2. The next bundle we have is the Gold Edition, and this is around 145 Australian dollars, which should be around like 80 bucks, 75 US dollars, something like that. But pretty much what it comes with is upgrade your game experience with Tom Clancy's at Division 2 Gold Edition, which includes a year one pass and get three day early access to the game. Now this, in my opinion, is huge. If you are a content creator, if you are a hardcore player, this is the bundle you want to get. You get three days early access to the game, which once again will put you kind of ahead with, you know, your level, your gear, your weapons and stuff like that. If you want to play uh, PvP, you most likely are going to have, you know, the best things already um, if you get this bundle. So that's pretty cool. I'm not really sure uh, if this is the bundle I'm going to be getting, but once again, if you are looking for this, you will also get the private beta access as well and also the Capital Defender pack with the Spass 12 and the Hazmat outfit. The final bundle you can get is the Ultimate Edition, and this is around 160 Australian dollars, which should be like $100 or like $105 US, um, depending on tax. So what it comes with is additional digital content, you also get the Year 1 Pass, and you also get the game uh, Early Access by 3 days. This is something that also came with the Gold Edition, uh, but with this edition, you also get some, um, you know, different packs and different skins and different weapons and stuff like that. So, first of all, uh, you get the Elite Agent Pack, and this includes an Exotic Assault Rifle, an exclusive skill effect, and also additional stash space. This alone is pretty cool. Um, additional stash space has been something I've been asking forever on the Division 1. So for this to be kind of a bundle, um, you know, kind of makes sense to me and is is kind of worth, in my opinion. Uh, next up, you get the Battle Worn Secret Service pack. This includes a Battle Worn Secret Service outfit, uh, the Secret Service emote, and also a Secret Service weapon skin. The next thing you get is the First Responder pack, including a First Responder outfit and also a First Responder weapon skin. And then obviously, you get the Private Beta access and you also get the Capital Defender pack, which comes with the Exotics Pass 12 shotgun and the Hazmat 2.0 outfit. Honestly, this is going to be the the bundle I will probably buy since I kind of want everything in the game, as I said. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much the rewards. That's pretty much all the different bundle packs you can buy. And also, um, those are the pre-order kind of bonuses you get if you get it right now. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this is worth it and which bundle you will be getting. Um, as I said, for me, I'm probably going to be getting the Ultimate Edition. 
but I do understand if you get the standard edition and the gold edition, um, because not everyone is, you know, this hyped for the game, and not everyone, um, you know, is kind of a hardcore player like I am. But anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.